Hey, what's going on guys? JMac here. So I want to go over an Angry Chicken speed farming build today. Here pretty soon bounties are going to get a, a slight buff, uh, making them a little bit more rewarding to farm. So everybody should be figuring out what their favorite uh, split farming torment 1 spec is. And thankfully for Witch Doctor you got a few options as far as speed farming bounties goes. But we'll go over an Angry Chicken build today. Um, a lot of people have probably played with angry chi different angry chicken builds or at least heard of people running them. Um, I'll show you my variation today though. This is pretty gear dependent although uh, you can do something pretty similar without all the gear. It's just not going to be quite as fast. Uh, let's go over the spec first just real quick. <clears throat> so we've got Manitou which in junction with Warzekian arm guards basically this breaks wreckable objects for you and get, you get the burst of speed from the Warzekians which we'll go over when I go over all the gear. Uh, Hex Angry Chicken uh, you get movement speed, and then you explode for physical damage, deals a ton of damage, a ton of AoE. We we're we're going to focus on cooldown reduction to get this down to as low of a cooldown as possible, along with Grave Injustice. Big Bad Voodoo Slam Dance for elite and champions and bosses. Horrify Stalker for more movement speed. Also combos with the Rochelle's Ring of Larceny and uh, the Ticklandian Visage, which we'll go over in just a minute. Spirit Walk Jaunt, extra movement speed. Fetish Army Legion of Daggers, we're going to run 4-piece Zuni in this build. Uh, this is really your elite and boss killer. Pierce the Veil, more damage all around. Gruesome Feast, uh, pretty much the same. This is mostly for damage more than anything. Uh, Grave Injustice, get your cooldowns as low as possible as you're killing things. And then Tribal Rights, this is mainly for the cooldown reduction on Hex, but you also get the added benefit of Big Bad Voodoo coming off of cooldown sooner. So that's the spec. And then the pieces of gear that kind of go along with those abilities, again, like I said, the Rochelle's Ring of Larceny, when you fear something, you get a 55% boost of movement speed for 4 seconds. Ticklandian Visage uh, causes your Horrify to root enemies in place so they don't run around like crazy, and uh, it lasts 7 seconds. So, along with Horrify here, this is going to last 7 seconds, and every single time you, hor or every single time you fear an enemy, it's going to refresh the proc in the Rochelle's Ring of Larceny. So as you're moving through mobs, it'll continue, continually refresh that proc on the movement speed, which is really nice. And the Warzekian Arm Guards, every time you destroy a wreckable object, you get a short burst of speed, along with the Manitou, like I said. Uh, so we're going to just pop this and run around, and this will break objects for us as we're running. And then also, I'm running a Thunder Fury. Now, as far as the abilities go in this build, Thunder Fury doesn't proc that much off of the abilities except when you're running a Ticklandian Visage. Every second that Horrify is up, you're going to have a chance to proc the Thunder Fury. So it actually procs like crazy as you're running around with the Horrify up. And with all the cooldown reduction we're running, Horrify is up the majority of the time. Uh, so that's actually really, really good. There's a lot of things you could run in this spot, though. You could go Doombringer. Uh, you could go uh, Mad Monarch Scepter, potentially. There's a few different options. So again, we're running 4 pieces Zuni. We're running the String the Morrow, the Boots, and then a Ring of Royal Grandeur, a Harrington Waste Guard, uh, just a ton of more damage whenever we pop a chest, dead body, uh, armor rack, weapon rack, etc. Uh, Pox Falls, just a little bit more damage. Uh, you could pretty much run anything in this slot, really. Actually, what I would probably like to run would be uh, Mr. Yan's Hexing Pants. I just don't have a pair at the moment, unfortunately, because we're going to be pretty much always moving in this build, and those would, those would fit perfectly into that slot. Uh, I need to find those, though, still. Um, and then just a lot of cooldown reduction. We get cooldown reduction on the Jade uh, Gloves, the Shoulders, and the Ring, and then we're going to go 10% in Offense. Uh, personally, the way that I'm set up, I'm over 50% chance to crit, so I want crit damage and then crit chance. Core, get as much movement speed as you need, and then Int. Uh, defense. Probably armor than life percentage than all resist, but I mean on T1 it's probably not going to matter that much. Resource cost reduction, last, area damage is the big one here, and then life on hit, I mean like none of these, none of these really matter right here. Like it's, the big one's area damage, um, you could even go gold fine probably and it wouldn't matter. I mean I'm never having mana issues in the build, and I don't really need the life on hit either. Uh, so gold fine's an option if you want to go that route. That utility tree a lot of times in these speed builds, just it's like area damage and that's all you really need, depending on the build. Especially with this one. Um, so we're at, currently we're at 29.91% cooldown reduction. Now, I could have a, a socket in my helmet for a diamond, 
Um, currently this thing's like 3.5 million to reroll, so I'm just not even going to mess with it, but you, you could get more cooldown reduction that way, um, for sure, which would be good. Uh, but at the moment, until I get a new Ticklandian, I'm just, I'm not even going to mess with it. It's unnecessary. And uh, between Grave and Justice and the cooldown reduction that I have, along with Tribal Rights, you really don't need it. It would be nice, don't get me wrong, but you don't need it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and jump into it, do a couple bounties to show you how it works. So we're going to pop our Fetish Army. Get mana two up. So as you can see, that the uh, Thunder Fury procs off of the Horrify. You can see it right here. See, it's procking. I think the biggest downfall to the build at the moment is just sometimes I don't have anything up to break a door for me. Which is kind of goofy, but this is the case at times. So the fetishes will pretty much just take care of single targets for you. That means a piece of cake. Uh, so kill a few more enemies here. Let's run back through here. So like, you know, as long as you kill something like five or six enemies every time that you blow up uh, with your chicken, you almost come right off of off of the cooldown. Like the cooldown is is almost up right away. Uh, let's go kill the butcher real quick. So for the most part on Butcher, the fetishes are going to deal the majority of the damage. We'll, we'll drop a big bad voodoo, and uh, they'll pretty much take care of him on T1. So, there you go. It's as simple as that. It's a pretty fun build. I, I honestly don't like this build near as much as like the Speed Puke build, for instance. I think it's a little bit more versatile and more fun to play. And uh, so you're a little bit more active. A lot of times in this in this build, you're just kind of moving around, trying to fear things with Horrify to get the procs from the Thunder Fury, um, or waiting for uh, the chicken to come off a of cooldown. But it is really fast. It's a very fast build. With a little bit more cooldown reduction, it'd be even faster more than likely. Um, and it, it is pretty fun to play. I do enjoy it. And I think a lot of people will probably like it. Uh, I know a lot of... I have a lot of people come into my stream asking about Angry Chicken builds all the time, so I figured I'd throw a video up. Uh, so there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to check out my Twitch channel, I stream the majority of days. Um, just about every day. Uh, I'll put the link in my description of the video here, uh, so you can come check it out. Just stop by and say hi. So thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time.